have this motorized KU band satellite dish that I've been working on lately. And today I want to use it to find satellite 117 west on KU band. That satellite's had a few channels come into the clear as of late. So we're going to drive this dish over there and see what we can find. And this dish is still a work in progress. I'm kind of learning as I go here. So I'm going to do the best I can to explain the process for using it in this video. But I'm going to be releasing a more detailed video on the setup and use of a motorized dish in the near future. Setting up a motorized KU band satellite is fairly involved and sort of beyond the scope of this video. And you can use this method that I'm going to describe to tune in as many satellites as you want on your motorized KU band dish setup. So far, I've used this method to tune in about six or seven satellites. And um, with a little bit of fine tuning, my dish moves along and stops at these satellites and the channels come in, the signal's good. Generally, it works fine. So you don't have to have a perfect setup to utilize the motorized dish is what I'm trying to say. We'll start by going into satellite installation. Here's the main installation menu here. Right now, my motorized dish is on satellite 87 West KU. And I have been puttering with this dish for a while and I have it set up not too bad but it is not perfect. I can't simply uh, use the u cells commands to just drive the dish from satellite to satellite. It's not set up that perfect yet. So I'm gonna show you today how I uh, find a satellite with this motorized dish. I'm sure that to some purists, this will not be a very refined way of doing it, but this is how I do it. I'm gonna share it with you today. First of all, we're going to find the satellite we want to get. It's 117 West, which is actually 116.8 Eutelsat. There's two satellites at this location. There's satellite A, which is a C-band satellite that's just full of uh, Spanish language channels. And there's the one we're after today, which is uh, a KU-band satellite with only about three channels, I think. So we'll select that we'll make sure that our l and b is set correctly since we're going to enter this one into our uh, our receiver it's a standard ku band l and b 10 750 is the correct frequency so that's good and now if we go down to dish pos dish positioner here you see that that is turned off so remember that our dish is sitting at 87 west so far down the arc from this one so what I'm going to do here is select uh, U cells U cells is the uh, universal satellite auto location system basically what it is is uh, a set of commands that your receiver follows based on your specific location and U cells requires you to enter your exact geographic location, your GPS coordinates, uh, longitude and latitude into your receiver in order for it to work correctly. And uh, these aren't my actual coordinates just for uh, privacy, but the uh, more accurate you enter these, the better off your receiver setup is going to be. Based on your location, it makes a calculation and then drives your dish over to the satellite that you want to find based on that set of calculations it makes. That's why it's important to set these motorized dishes up very carefully. Mine is set up pretty good, not great though. But I'll show you what I do anyways to find this. So we will select U cells. And right now my dish is moving from 87 West over to 117 West here. So we'll just give that a minute. Okay, so you can see that we're actually getting a little bit of a signal here, which is good. We're going to see if we can get that signal 
Um, a little, a little more improved though. So what I'm going to do now is instead of staying on U cells, I'm actually going to switch my dish positioner to dissect 1.2. And dissect 1.2 will allow us to actually create a, a stopping point for this satellite in the menu here. Okay, so we'll click OK. And now there are some there are some uh, steps I can take here to move my dish back and forth. And as I move the dish, I can watch the signal meter. And you'll see it move around and we'll find out whether the signal is getting better or worse. Okay, we're going to stay on the transponder that we're on. And that's fine, we'll leave that alone. Okay, so what we'll do is we're going to go to continuous move and, and continuous move lets you basically hold the arrow down the arrow buttons down to either move your dish east or west now instead of holding it down for a long period of time i just kind of press the button briefly and that'll move the dish just a little bit so let's press it once and go east and see if that makes the signal better or worse and you'll see when I hit the button, stop will change to east. Watch the screen. Okay, so moving the dish just a little bit east clearly made things worse. So that means we probably have to go to the west to get our signal maximized. So let's press the button once to go west just a little bit. Okay, and one more time. Okay, that's pretty good now. Let's go one more time just to see what happens. Okay, that seemed to make it a little better. And one more. Okay, that dropped it. So let's go east again one step. Give that meter a second. Okay. All right, maybe we'll just leave it there. That seems not too bad. Let's go east one more. Well, that seemed to even it out pretty good. Maybe we'll leave it there. Okay, so now the next step is we want to save this dish position um, in our menu in Dissect 1.2. So what we're going to do here is uh, the dish position, we will, I've tried this out with a few, a few uh, other satellites. So what I'm going to do is just pick maybe like number 12. And that way I'm not going to be interfering with any other dish positions that I may have set before this. Okay, then we'll go down to save and hit save and select yes. Okay, and now we can hit the menu button. All right, give the menu or give the signal meter a chance to catch up. Okay, so there we go. So the position that we've got our satellite set at here has got a pretty good signal. So now what we're going to do is actually try a blind scan for this satellite, okay? And what we'll do is just press the white button and that'll begin a blind scan and a blind scan will scan in any satellite any satellite channels that our dish finds at this location sometimes you get that moving dish message and that should disappear in a minute and the scan should begin All right, well, this worked out a lot better than I thought it was going to. Tuning that uh, motorized dish, I guess we got it done well enough to get all these channels. And there really wasn't any channels on this satellite uh, before a few weeks ago. I think all of these have been added very recently. 
117 West used to be the satellite that Orbi Television was on before it uh, shut down back in March. Uh, so what we have here now are nine Christian television channels. We have Revival TV. We have NRB, which is National Religious Broadcasters TV. We have God TV, Christian Broadcast Network News. And then we have um, Christian Broadcast Network Family Channel. We have Inspiration and uh, Living Faith. And GEB is Golden Eagle Broadcasting. And also Faith USA. So uh, some of these channels are available on other satellites, uh, both uh, C-band and maybe KU-band as well. Um, but a lot of these channels are also available in uh, lots of areas of the United States with an over-the-air antenna. But here they are now on KU-band satellite 117 West. And uh, because they're on KU-band, um, that makes it a little easier for probably most people to access on free satellite TV since uh, KU band satellite dishes are uh, much easier to acquire and set up than a C band dish. So if you're interested in finding some Christian, uh, free Christian television channels, then here they are on 117 West, Utilsat B on the KU band.